Hey everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video. So right here I've got another Machamp EX10 because today I said I was going to do the online gameplay using the code card from this but I lost the code card from my first 10 so I actually ordered a new one on Wednesday. It got here in time so we're gonna open this, do all the packs again and then we'll take the code and go play online. Now one thing I gotta mention is I'm not even sure if this code card will guarantee us a Machamp deck. When it's on the code card it says like Machamp or Mewtwo or Gyarados so we very well might get like the Mewtwo one back there or the Gyarados one but just in case it is guaranteed to give us Machamp I decided we're gonna go ahead and, and do another tin here and speaking of code cards I actually forgot to give this one away on Wednesday this is from the Darkrai collection so there's that but let's go ahead and open up this tin and do a second Machamp EX tin <laughs> all right we'll set the plastic right there let's pop this lid off I'm just gonna take a quick glance at the at the EX right here since we've already got this tin so we've already seen this Machamp EX but still a really cool card awesome to have a second one of him here's the code card which I will not lose this time you will not be lost let me zoom back out and of course the packs we've got four right here we've got a breakpoint two breakpoint there's a primal clash and a furious fist so let's do the two breakpoints real quick I'm just gonna go through these openings a little bit quickly because I just want to get to the gameplay that's kind of what today's video was meant to be but I will give away the code cards for the booster packs at least so there's that. Let's shuffle these guys around and take a look at our first one here. We've got a potion. Let me make sure I'm focused in. Looking good. Actually, it's kind of bright. Let me turn the lights down a little bit. That's a bit better. Okay, so we've got a pseudo Wudo. We have Heat More. There's Blitzel, Star You, Esper. We've got Pharaoh Seed and Electabuzz, as well as Mawile Reverse Hollow. And we've got a Garchomp holographic. Very cool. I think I already had the that holographic and that reverse holo as well, but Mawile is one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon, so I'm glad to see that. And I really need to open this right here at some point. Well, next week we're doing the booster box. I haven't decided yet. I gotta go look at the comments and see what you guys are voting for, but maybe the week after next week we'll do the Mega Mawile there. Okay, there's the code card for the second breakpoint booster. Let's shuffle these dudes around as well. And here we go. We've got a Bayleaf. Could do some baking with that, I guess. We have a Max Potion. There's Electivire. What are those? He's got like acorns on the end of his little tails. We've got a Froakie. There's Chikorita. We've got Shelder. C Dot. Tim Pool. The Reverse Hollow is a Cricketot, so no breaks for us from this tin. And we have a Golduck Rare. So not two holographics in a row, but Golduck is Clubby's favorite Pokemon, so that's cool to see. All right, here we've got a Primal Clash pack. So let's see if we can get a Secret Rare out of this one. I've mentioned this many times before, but. Primal Clash is actually, in Japan, it was two sets that they merged into one set here. So that's why it's such a big set. And that's why there's like four secret rares to get. So here we've got a Kyogre Spirit Link. We have a Seedra. There's Wonder Energy. Clam Pearl. Bunnelby. We have Illumise. Solrock. Mudkip. There's a Reverse Hollow Metacham. And we have a Walrian. So nothing too crazy out of the Primal Clash pack. Yeah, I've not gotten anything good out of Primal Clash in a while, but we'll get some good stuff once we do the booster box, most likely. Okay, last pack right here. We've got Furious Fists, and then we'll go on and do the online gameplay. So there's the code card right there. And let's check out the final pack of this tin. Really got nothing too crazy here. We got the one hollow, which was nice, but aside from that, not really been much here. We've got a Hitmonchan, Battle Reporter, Dead End Net. We have, oh, we got Pat Rat, we got Drowsy, Noibat, Slackoth. Poliwag, double Poliwag right there, very nice. And the last card is a Clawitzer, so we got a second holographic right there. Actually, not too bad. Two holographics out of that tin. No EXs, but still pretty excited about those. And the double Poliwag is great, so that's going to be it for that. But let's go over to... Where did I put my code card? Crud! Okay, I found it. It's the Triple Power Tin Machamp. So I'm going to go over to the online TCG. I'm going to put this code in, and we'll see if we do indeed get him a champ deck. If so, it was definitely worth buying this tin. So let's go do some gameplay. Okay, so we're over in the TCG online. Let's go ahead and check out our daily reward for the day. I don't think we're up to a booster pack. No, we're going to have to do a couple more days for that. But let's go ahead and exit out of here, and let's go into this code. Moment of truth, will we get a Machamp EX deck? It actually looks like it's going to work. It's called Four Armed Fury. So let's go ahead and claim that and there we go I got our Machamp deck and this is actually the first deck that I've ever done gameplay with that actually has an EX in it look at the bottom right there we've got two Machamp EXs up in this crud so let's go ahead and hit done looks like we wait actually let's take a look because I don't even know what's in here we got Marowak looks like we got some Vespa Queen a couple of other things right here there's a bunch of trainers a bunch more trainers lots of trainers we got some Ariados even some unknown which is kind of strange we got Spinarak and then there's Cubone and Combi so this actually looks like a pretty decent deck let's go ahead and hit done 
done and let's go give it a try um guys i just realized something very very bad it turns out that the deck we just got does not count as a theme deck and what that means is we're gonna have to choose a standard deck which means that our opponents are probably going to have ridiculously good cards so we might get absolutely destroyed but let's go ahead and find out. We've got our opponent right here, Gem 1 N1, and yeah, he's got no picture on that deck, which means it's just some some deck that he's built. It's probably gonna have full EXs, just like a super good deck. That's usually what you gotta expect when you're playing online and you're not using theme decks. So let's go ahead and call the coin flip here. We'll call heads, and we won it, so I guess I'll go first. Would you like to go first? Yes. We're about to get demolished, I feel. Okay, they're gonna shuffle their crud right there. Let's see. I've got Cubone and Sudowoodo as my options for a basic Pokemon, actually unknown as well, let's see. Uh, once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may discard this Pokemon and all cards attached to it. If you do draw a card, what the heck? Alright, we've also got Cubone, which won't be able to do much until we get two energies on him. And over here we've got Watch and Learn. If your opponent attacks, if your opponent's Pokemon use an attack during his or her last turn, use it as this attack. That's kind of interesting, I guess. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with Cubone, and hopefully we can find a, uh, whatchamacallit, we can find Marowak. We've also got this, the basic Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus 40 HP, and its attacks do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So that might be useful, but as soon as we evolve it, we're no longer a basic Pokemon, so maybe we'll save that for pseudo Wood or something. Alright, your opponent is selecting the starting Pokemon, so we're just kind of waiting on them right now. And I don't know if I'm going to put anything down on my bench. I might put down Sudowoodo. I could put down Unknown because I can use his Farewell Letter to draw a card. So, we'll see. So, choose Pokemon to start. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and fill up the bench. Why not? So, let's drop some Crud. Draw some Crud. And let's see what they got. They've got Moltres. Okay, so they've got a Fire Deck right here. It actually looks kind of similar to the Theme Deck. But I don't think Entei was in the Theme Deck. Alright, so first turn, we're going to go ahead and drop down a Fighting Energy, and we'll just go ahead and end our turn right here. So that's going to be that. He can do a Combustion, which will do 20 damage, so hopefully that will not completely wreck us. I might do Fighting Fury Belt just to survive a little bit longer. Uh, he's going to do Tierno to draw three cards, which I wish I had, because I'd love to draw into a Marowak right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, does he have a Resistance to Fighting type? He does, so we'll actually take 20 less damage, and he's got experience share, and he put down, uh, down a muscle band, so that's going to do 40 damage. This is bad, dude. Moltres is going to be pretty much impossible for me to take out, because Grass Pokemon, weak to fire, and he's resistant to my fighting types. So, this is just all around awful for me, but I don't even know what to do. Okay, we're going to use my ability right here to try and draw into a Marowak, maybe. That's all I can even think to try and do. Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to put down an item right here. We're gonna drop down this energy card onto Cubone, and then we're going to play this to try and draw a new card and maybe get ourselves a Marowak. Uh, okay, we got the Marowak. Now, I know that this was just a waste by doing that, but I put it down just in case I didn't draw the Marowak, but it looks like we did, so we're gonna have Bone Windmill. If your opponent's active Pokemon, it's a Pokemon EX, which is Pokemon and one of your benched Pokemon. Uh, well, that's not gonna apply because he's not a uh, Pokemon EX, but... Let's go ahead and drop this down. Of course, he's going to die pretty easily anyways, and my attack's going to do 20 less, but that's all I can really do. Wait, what's this? This card can only be attached to a fighting Pokemon. This card provides fighting energy. Okay, but the stack does... Okay, it does, it does some bonus damage, so maybe we can do that if we survive this turn. But I just don't think it's going to be enough. Let me read through this. The attack of the fighting Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 more to your opponent's active Pokemon. So we'll do 20 more, so our attack will do the full 60, but he's going to still have 20 HP left. So how the cut are we going to survive that? So he's going to do 40 more damage right there. We're going to die next turn, unless I have some kind of healing item, which I don't. Let's see, level ball right here. Search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. I don't know if that's going to be useful. I have no way to draw into any kind of uh, healing item. Flip a coin of heads, the opponent's Pokemon is now paralyzed. That's going to die in one shot. So I guess I'm just going to have to power up this pseudo Wudo or something. Let's just go ahead and do that. I guess we'll do Bone Windmill again. But this is just looking bad, guys. I don't know how to deal with Moltres. This deck is just like a perfect counter to me. Well, not even this deck, just, just Moltres in particular. But, oh well. Let's see, he's going to power up that Kangaskhan. So even if we take down this Moltres, we're still in a pretty bad spot. So that's going to be the first death right there, and from here I think it's just going to be a sweep. I just don't see myself managing to come back from this. However, he did have Combustion. Ooh, no, never mind. I was going to say Combustion will do 20, but then you add in the Strong Energy will do 40, but uh, I think that the Resistance is going to ruin that for us. So, 
I don't see this one working out very well. I guess we'll just have to drop down some krill onto the bench here. There's that. We'll just go ahead and do watch and learn. Let's just attack. And yeah, after resistance, only 20 damage. So we might be able to kill it next turn. Unless he has some way to heal it. But this is just looking like we're going to get stomped, guys. Wait, trainer's mail. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a trainer card you uh, find there. All right. And he finds a lucky helmet. Oh, uh, gosh. So basically, if I damage his Pokemon, he'll draw two cards, I think is what it said. He's got a lot more cards than I have right now. He is going to use that. He'll put it on... Is that Kangaskhan or... No, he put it on to... Uh, yeah, Kangaskhan. Okay. It looks like he put it on Fennekin for a second there, but I guess not. All right. So we'll at least be able to take out this Moltres unless he swaps like that. Okay. Well, he does have a weakness to fighting type. Is he going to be able to take me down? There goes Mega Punch. Yeah. Because he's got two double colorless, which counts as four. So... Well, even though he's weak to fighting type, that did not go very well. So I guess we'll put this guy out. And then what we'll have to do is power up this and hope we get it to uh, wreck this guy or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm going to put the grass energy on here because I can... Wait, actually, I think... Ar does Ariados have less than 90? Hold on, let me check. Where's Ariados? There you are. He does have less than 90. The Fenny Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. That just doesn't look very good. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll get that, but I just don't know if it's going to be that useful. So we'll just go ahead and play that. Why not? Just to... No, it's going to die anyways, though. Okay, what I'll do is I'll put it on this one instead. And I'm trying to think here, but unless I get heads, there's just nothing happening here. Okay, we got the heads, which means he's now paralyzed. And because of that, I don't think he'll be able to attack me so we can survive one more turn. Unless he has some kind of full heal to remove that. This is what I call a struggle, guys. I mean, we might have a chance. If we can get into a, a Machamp EX, that'd be fantastic, but I just have had no luck finding one so far. So he's put down a Lucky Helmet, or I think he might have already had that. Uh, okay, he's back from the par uh, Paralysis right there. Let's see, there's Machamp EX, all right. Let's see, this attack does 20 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. This Pokemon is now confused. And then this Pokemon is affected by a special condition. This attack does 80 more damage. All right, so I think we might have found a way to win this here, guys. So what I want to do is start powering up this Machamp, and I think that I'm just going to keep stalling. So we'll just go ahead and string shot again, hopefully get heads. We do not get heads, so we're not going to be able to stall, but oh well. All right, so what happens right here? What you gonna do, buddy? Let's see, he's gonna put out another trainer's mail. This Machamp really might save it for us, guys, but we've got to play very smart right here. Put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand, so he's gonna have more energy cards to work with, I guess. I just need to draw a fighting energy. I really need that to get up to crazy power. Now, it's gonna take me two turns to get there, so I have to survive that long as well. And yes, Mega Punch is going to take down Spinarak, unfortunately, for me here. Okay, there's that. Uh, let's see. So I have to choose a Pokemon. I guess I'm just going to have to go ahead and just put out my champ. It's going to die in two turns is the problem, but I don't know what else to do here. Oh, man. Just to attack, I have to use a double colorless as well, but we're going to do it. Let me go ahead and use Steaming Mad. It's only going to do 40 damage, but oh, well. But we are now confused. This is probably a bad thing, but oh, well. Wait, actually, did he take any damage? What the? Wait, hold on. What just happened? Uh... I don't think I did any damage to him. So maybe the confusion stopped me from attacking. Oh, right. 20 times the number of counters and I have zero on me. Whoops. I'm an idiot. I need to learn to read. I thought it was 20 plus 20 more. So I thought it would do 20 to begin with. But no, it does zero plus extra for each thing. So all I did was confuse myself for no benefit. But he did do a thing right there. So I got to draw some more cards, which is actually pretty convenient for me. So I should not have confused myself. But hey, at the very least... If we can get through this crud, we can use Crazy Hammer, and Crazy Hammer will kill him. However, there's one small problem, and that is... Oh, we got a second Machamp. Sick. Well, the small problem is that once... One, if he kills an EX, he actually gets two uh, prize cards. The other problem is if I don't get through this uh, confusion, I'm dead. So, let's flip a coin and hope we win. Let's go. Come on. Gosh dang it. I just hurt myself. And that is pretty much the game. We pretty much lost to luck right there. And bad play, because I confused myself when I really didn't need to. But, yeah, there's really nothing I can do about this now, because I don't think I'll be able to get this Machamp powered up in time. I've done zero damage to this Kangaskhan, so it was a bit of bad luck, but also a bit of bad play on my part. Oh, well, I've never had to deal with uh, status conditions and EX Pokemon. This is complicated, dude. 
And that Moltres just did not let me get anything going to begin with. So that's going to be it for my Machamp here. He's going to draw two prize cards. He'll have just one left. And I just don't think I can win this one. Because I'd have to power up three energy cards right here. I can't just put out one of these guys to stall because then I'll die. So I've got to put this guy out. And I don't think there's any way to possibly win this. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Yeah, that's definitely going to help here. Uh, yep, I think we lost. I'm just going to play this one out, but I'm pretty sure this is over here. I think if we got a heads on the Crazy Hammer, we probably could have brought this back. Because I would have killed him. And then all the stuff he sent out, I think I would have been able to deal with as well. So that coin flip kind of decided this game right here. But let's see, he's got a Wally. Gonna search for his deck for something that evolves. Probably gonna go for a Delphox, that's my guess here. Yeah, a lot of the cards he has are nothing too fancy. It's just I uh, have not been playing that well against him. He's got a hard charm, so I guess he's putting it on Fennekin. He's got all of his Pokemon powered up with items. Lots of items on his side. And there's gonna be the Mega Punch for 100 damage. And we're at the point where I don't think there's anything I can do, because I can't get enough energy cards down on the field in time. And not only that, but Steaming Mad, even if I... Uh, actually, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. If I get a heads on Steaming Mad... No, it does 100... It does uh, 10 times 20, so I think that's actually going to work. But the only problem is that I'm going to be confused. So we might still we might still have a chance here. I just got to put down this Grass Energy. Let's go ahead and do Steaming Mad. He's going to resist some of the damage, but it should still do enough, right? Yes, 400 damage. Okay, sick. So we got that crud. I'm really good at math, guys. Don't even worry. So we get to draw one prize card. We are confused, and I think he might be able to do 80. Can he? Well, he sends out this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Psystorm's going to do like a million damage. Okay, never mind. There is no way we're coming back from this one. Psystorm, watch this damage right here. 160, so that's that. All right, guys. Well, we got destroyed. I think I really could have brought it back if I got a heads on that one attack on the Kangaskhan with my first Machamp EX, but oh well, I had EXs and I still managed to lose. Oh well, maybe we'll do better next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Take care.